I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. We are going to take some difficult questions which have been appearing in competitive exams in this particular series. So I'll take one question at a time. Here is the very first question for you. I would like you to pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. ABC is a right isosceles triangle with AB equals to BC equals to 1. A series of right angles is added with common vertex A and a side with unit length as shown. How many triangles can be drawn in this series without overlapping? Five choices are 16, 17, 18, 19 or 20. So you can now pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. Now this is really a very popular question and let's try to understand how do we solve such a question. Let us see this pattern first. We are given a triangle ABC which is unit length of AB and BC. So we can always find AC using Pythagorean theorem. Now to this triangle we have added another by adding a length of one unit at right angles and then joining D with A. So in this fashion we continue adding triangles after triangle with A as the common point. Now what does it mean by saying that how many triangles can be drawn in the series without overlapping. It really means that, as we can see, it will follow a circular path. So the triangles will ultimately fold up. And when you try to make more triangles at this stage, there could be overlapping. So without overlapping means you could go maximum of 360 degrees, right? So this angle could maximum be 360 degrees. That's the whole idea. So we need to find the angles in each case. So the angles, let's call them as theta 1, theta 2, and so on, right? So these angles we have to figure out and then add them to get their sum less than 360, correct? So the idea is to find these angles, which is theta 1 plus theta 2, and so on till theta n, so that their sum is less than or equal to 360 degrees. Is that clear to you? In that case, our answer will be n. So the maximum value which you can get for n is your solution. Perfect. Now I think you have the hint. You can start the calculation, find the answer, and you can write down in the comments. Now let us see how do we find the angle theta. Now we are working with right triangle, right? So first thing is we can find the hypotenuse AC. Right? So we'll find the hypotenuse AC. So we'll find what is AC equals to. AC will be equal to BC square plus AB square. Square root. So we will use Pythagorean theorem. Clear? So in this case, as you know, it will be square root of 2, 1 plus 1. So we get this side, AC, as square root of 2. Now let us see, what will be A to D? Well, 2 square is, square is 4, and square root will be 2. So 2 plus 1 is 3, and we get this side as square root of 3. Next will be square root of 4. You can clearly see a pattern here. Perfect. 
So we now get the hypotenuse for each. How do we find the angle theta? You could use the trigonometric ratio. Perfect. So the ratio sine theta can work. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. And what we see here is that the hypotenuse is changing, right? And therefore, for each triangle, we can find the angle. Is that clear to you? So, so from here, we know theta is equal to sine inverse of opposite over hypotenuse. So likewise, you get all the values of theta. You can make a table of values, right? You can make a table of values and then add those numbers. Is that clear to you? So that is going to be the strategy. So you need a calculator and a lot of work to do. So what I've done here is we have calculated the values in and written them on a calculator. So here is the values for you. So as you can see here, we have the values for the first triangle and the angle theta. In this particular case, it is written here. And that is our triangle number, right? So x is the number of triangle. Now in this series, when I did the calculations, as you can see, these will be your values. The maximum value which we obtained was 16 and when you add these values up so when you add theta 1 plus theta 2 all these angles up to the 16th triangle that comes to around 351 degrees now if you add the 17th angle then it goes to more than 360 but if you add 3 17th angle theta, then it is greater than 360 degrees. And therefore, what we get here as n equals to 16 as our answer. So in the very first case, where the choices are given to us, our choice is going to be A. So this test question may require a lot of calculations as we have seen. So I'd like you to actually do the calculations, match your values which, with the values which I've shown here. So I've used Desmos graph which is shown and there is a very interesting pattern to see. So as we go, the angles become smaller and smaller. The very first one of course is 45. So we go from 45 to almost 14. So this value here is, is almost 14. Let me write down the value so that once you calculate, you can match the correct answer, right? And this is 45. All these are in degrees as shown on the plot. So you get a nice plot like this if you sketch it. And adding them, we could make actually 16 triangles without overlapping. Perfect. So once you know the answer, you can always save a lot of time because such questions may involve a lot of calculations and you might just do an error in adding them up. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and get ready for the next question tomorrow. Thanks for your time, and all the best.